In this lecture, we are going to check operators in C. C language has wide variety of operators. So these are all different types of operators which are available in C. However, for our current scope, we are just going to check assignment operators, which is equal to, plus equal to, minus equal to. There are few more assignment operators, but we'll check those in next lectures. So when I write instruction as x equal to 10, so what is happening over here? I'm storing integer constant 10 into a. Here, I'm storing value of y into x. Here, what is happening? My instruction is x equal to 10. So this value 10 will get stored at the address of a, at the location of a. So a will hold value 10. In this instruction, value of x will be overwritten by value of y. The next example is I'm writing x is equal to x plus y. So suppose my y is let's say 2 and x is let's say 10. So my x will become 12. So this addition will get stored into x. So there's an alternate way in C. Instead of writing x is equal to x plus y, we can use plus equal to operator. So it works in the same way. What it says is increment value of x by y. So I'm saying increment value of x, which is 10 by 2. So my x becomes 12. Similarly, instead of writing x equal to x minus b, I can write a minus equal to y. In other words, I'm decrementing value of a, which is 10 with value of y. So 10 minus 2, 8 will become my new value of A. Apart from assignment operators, we also have arithmetic operators. So plus minus, instead of multiplication like X, we use star operator in C as a multiplication operator. Then division and then modular division as well. So there's a difference between division and this percent sign. So in case of normal division, Suppose I am going to divide 7 with 2, okay? So in this case, this will be result of my division and this will be division of my percent sign. So when I write instruction like 7 divided by 2, my output will be 3. And if I write 7 modular division 2, my output will be 1. Similarly, if I write 3 modular division 3 it will be 0 and 3 divided by 3 will be equal to 1. I am taking another example it's a 17 divided by 15 so output of this will, will be 1 and 17 modular division 15 in this case my output will be 2. If you have enjoyed this lesson give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to visit our website codegod.com for more detailed content.